Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Kenna and today we're going to be setting up my Millsbo Tall and weatherproofing it and adding plants to it. As I had said in the previous video, I finally got Millsbo Tall and I'm so excited to be able to put some bigger plants that had outgrown my Fabricor into my Millsbo. And as you can see, I already have it together but I'm going to walk you through how I put it together and then we're going to weather strip it and add fans and lights and plants. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So to start off, the first thing I did was I used rust, what is it called? Rust inhibitor, rust oleum, whatever on all of the metal pieces of the Millsbo. And I did this before I put it together. So I just took everything out of the box. Anything that was metal, I took outside and sprayed with Rust-Oleum. I've seen a lot of people only spray the hole that they drill in the bottom, but I've also seen a lot of people get rust in there. So I chose to do the entire thing. And I recommend doing that. It's not that big of a deal but I feel like it can make your cabinet last a lot longer. Then um, my boyfriend Andrew so kindly put together the Millsbo for me while I was doing other things around the house. And once it was all put together, um, we drilled a hole in the bottom without the glass in it because we wanted to take it outside to drill a hole so that it didn't make a giant mess. So we put the frame together and then we took it outside and using a drill, we drilled a hole in the back. I did do this one a little bit different than I have my other cabinets. I drilled a smaller hole. This was only a one inch um, diameter hole. And I did this because I kind of wanted to see if it would hold humidity better because I feel like in the past I've drilled an enormous hole when really there's only two cords going out of it. So I thought I would just try to do it smaller. I can always make it bigger if I need to. Honestly, the hardest part to me is drilling the hole in the bottom. For some reason, the metal is super thick and on the Millsbo, the legs kind of cover part of the bottom of the cabinet. So when we drilled our hole, it actually hit where the leg was at. So the hole in the bottom was a little bit crooked from it was how it was in the top, which isn't really a big deal. But when you're drilling your hole, I definitely recommend drilling it in a little bit farther than you think you need to because we definitely hit the leg. So then after that hole was drilled, I covered it with a desk grommet and I will have all of this linked in the description so you guys can use it if you would like. After drilling the hole, we continued putting the Millsbo together by the instructions at, uh, on the Ikea paper they give you. It's kind of complicated and I definitely recommend doing it with two people because putting the glass in was not an easy task. So now my Millsbo is put together and we are ready to clean it up and I'm going to weather strip it with just this like foam um, weather stripping. And I've done a lot of research on this and so many people do it different ways. I've seen people use like the little clear flap. I've seen people use like the teardrop shaped one. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. And honestly, I am a very cheap person. So this was the cheapest I could find. And I'm just going to try to do around the door. And I'm not even gonna worry about this gap right here because honestly, I think it will hold humidity perfectly fine. And if I decide I need to add more weather stripping, I can definitely go back and do that later.
also, forgive me for this terrible lighting. I know it's horrible. This window really makes things backlit and it's so hard to see. But now I'm going to try to weather strip this. So first, like when you close this, there is a gap right here. So I'm going to be putting weather stripping on the inside right here so that when I close it, it will fill that gap on the outside. Now I'm just going to do the other side the same way. Probably the same gap. Yeah. Okay, so I'm now going to do the door on this top part. I already used one pack of this, so I think I might run out. But that's okay. You guys can see this but the only thing you can't do is you can't do it over this little magnet right here because that is what closes the door so I just cut it off and then I'm going to start again after that that might not work I think it's too thick Maybe I can like smash it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do with what you got. Okay. Hey, it actually worked. So if you want to be a little bit more precise, I definitely recommend getting a thinner sponge tape for this part. I just smashed it down and it worked, so we'll see. Okay. And there's still a gap right here, but this tape is definitely too thick, I think. To do that, I'll test it out. Like I said, I don't try to claim to know what I'm doing. I've watched a lot of videos and that's about it. Oh, wait. One place. Yeah, so this one's a little bit too thick, so I'm not even gonna worry about this. I know there is like a little plastic um, flap that you can do, but I've seen a lot of people say it just falls off. So I'll see what the humidity stays at and then I might try to do something else, but I might just leave it. I think that's all I'm gonna do actually, because the bottom seals pretty well and then the rest is sealed pretty well. So I think I'm going to start off with that and see how it does. And then I might add the flap to the door. Okay. Now I'm going to be adding fans. These are the AC infinity fans. I think these are like the, there's like two ones. One's like a seven and one's a five. These are the fives. And I am just going to be putting two in, one up here in the corner and one down here in the bottom. And I honestly don't know how I'm gonna do this. So 
We'll figure it out as we go. I think there's a little hole in the top corner back here and I think I'm just gonna zip tie them with these little zip ties up in the corner. Aha, that worked better than expected. Okay, so that is what it looks like. I, like I said, I just looped the zip tie through the top of the fan and then I'll show you guys what it looks like up here. I just zip tied it up out the thing. And I'll have a better tour at the end of what I did so that it makes a little bit more sense. Darn it, I did it backwards. <laughs> okay, redo. Leave it to me, honestly. I cannot do anything by myself. <laughs> Okay, so make sure when you're doing it that you put the cord to the bottom, obviously. Doesn't take a genius, Kenna, it doesn't take a genius. Okay, so I just zip tied this one up to the top of the cord. I'm gonna pull it a little bit tighter, but it doesn't look wonderful, but it's gonna work. Okay, the fans are in. Now I'm going to install my lights. These are the Barina T5, and I think I got yellow instead of white. The white is what is in my Fabricor, if you watch my channel, and they're a little bit more purple looking. These are more of like a natural color. And then I also have these extenders. Like I say, I'll link all of this below. But since I only put one shelf in here, you, you have to have these extenders so that the cords are long enough. I knew that because when I did my wicker cabinet, it was the same way and I had these left over, but I'll have them linked so you can pick them up if you need to. And I'm just going to put two lights per level. So I'm gonna put one right here, one right here, and then the same for this glass shelf. Don't do what I just did. Definitely put the cords on before you stick these on because I didn't leave myself enough room to plug the switch in. Probably gonna have to super glue this one. It's a learning process. 
process, you know? You learn as you go. big enough so I'm gonna wait for Andrew to get home so he can make it a little bit bigger so that I can fit the cord through but the lights are in okay so I'm back it's like over a week later but long story short putting this thing together was not easy and it just went very chaotic it was very chaotic and it, we did it in like a lot of different pieces. And so um, you guys saw the footage of what I had from putting it together. So actually I didn't really feel very good putting any of that together. Like I just, I didn't feel right. And then I ended up getting COVID. So that kind of put the cabinet um, to a big halt. And so I'm back like a week later and the cabinet is done. So unfortunately I didn't get to film all of it but I filmed a pretty good chunk of like actually setting the cabinet up. I just didn't film the last half of that because I had COVID. So anyway, I thought it would be fun to do like a little tour and kind of just go through and explain what I did since I didn't really get to explain it very well while I was doing it. So let's take a little tour of the Millspo. So I put it in the living room just because I really like the way it looks and I want everyone to see it in my house. So I thought this would be the best spot. So I did weatherproof it and I kind of didn't do a very good job, honestly. It's like not sticking very well, but it is holding really good humidity. So I am going to leave it. But as I showed you guys, I just weather stripped on the inside of this door, the top and the bottom, but that is all I weather stripped. Um, so moving on to the fans, I showed you guys how I did those previously, but I just have two, one up there and then one down on this second shelf area. Um, and then I have my lights in here. I just did them hor or, um, yeah, horizontally. And then I, I did have to buy the adapter and I'm not really a fan of how this looks, but not much I can do with it right now. So. We're gonna leave it, but that's what happens when you have to use a longer cord. There's like extra space. Then I added these wire grids and I'll have them linked. I also bought this shelf separately and it came with some little hooks that I have some plants hanging on. Okay, so then I also have the hole. Let me move this plant. I have the hole in the bottom and I know I had said in the video that I needed Andrew to make a bigger hole, but actually I just couldn't figure out how to get it through. So I did get that through and then I just have the cords going out the bottom over here on a timer and I do run my fans 24 seven so they're not on the timer, but my lights are on 12 hours right now and it gets some light from this window back here also. But I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Like I said, it was very gradual and it was not an easy process, but it's done and I really like the way it looks. 
So I thought I would also go through and just give you a little tour of the plants that I put in here. Starting up here, I have a Syngonium rayi in Lecca and a Midrium silver that's getting a new leaf, my Deschidia ovata, a Anthurium crystallinum, my Waro over here in the corner, my Florida ghost, Syngonium starlight, my favorite, the El Chaco red, I just have a little Peru propagation hanging from the basket. My Anthurium forgetii. Um, my Anthurium radicans took a turn for the worst. And so she's looking not so good, but hopefully it will be okay. My Scandapsis silver hero. Scandapsis silver princess. Syngonium Pink Splash. This new leaf is so pretty. And then an Anthurium Villanarum that is blooming. That's the first time it has bloomed for me. Okay, and then down here on the bottom, I have my Syngonium Milk Confetti. The Anthurium Crystallinum, no, Clarinervium. My Philodendron Plamanii. Anthurium regal, my Billetier, which is not growing anymore. I don't know what her deal is. And then Anthurium magnificum hybrid of some sort. I grew this one from a seedling. Um, this is a Parizo Verde. This is pretty new. It really doesn't have much variegation, but I'm hoping with this cabinet it will help. And then last up here in the front is another Anthurium crystallinum. Okay, so that is going to be it for the Millsville. I'm sorry it was so unorganized. Um, like I said, it got put together over like a two week period and I got sick. And so it just wasn't ideal, but I thought I would go ahead and put the footage together and hopefully you guys learned something or enjoyed watching me put together my Millsville. I'm Super excited about it, and I really needed this space. Tux really wants to play. You're bringing my video, dude. Literally, this dog can be so chill until I go to film, and then it's like, he's so loud. And sometimes I'll go to edit, and I can hear him in the background, like, munching on a bone. So sorry. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. If you have any other questions where I didn't answer something, feel free to leave it in the comments and I will try to get back to it as fast as I can. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Plants by Kenna, and I will see you guys in the next video.